All right, we're gonna take our shake, the paw, to a high five. I'm gonna show you the best and easiest tip I've ever found, but I do think there are two good tips. If I've got a shake where I put out my hand and they smack the hand, that's amazing. I do wanna make sure I put it on verbal cue. So I say shake, yes. And then my hand signal comes out to make sure that if I'm just walking around like this, I don't really want your paw. I don't wanna get smacked by a giant 75 pound paw if I'm not specifically verbally cueing it. Shake, yes. So you hear that nice verbal marker. It says what she's doing right, says I love it. So I am also making sure the paw is coming up pretty high. So depending on the side of your dog, shake. Yes, I'm really looking for that paw to come up and target me. That time it took her twice, go get it. That's okay. So if you started to get the shake, you might want to look at making sure that your hand is, that start may have started low, is coming up a little higher and a little higher so your dogs can still target it. <laughs> Thank you for that reused treat on my foot. And I really appreciate that. If you, depending on your dog, you might have more success if you sit or if you stand. So experiment with that a little bit. I know that's a very cute whisper. But what I start to do for getting the shake <laughs> is once I've got the shake, I simply shake, roll their paw. Yes! And mark that moment as I am rolling my hand over. Yes! So I started to, her paw slipped away, no big deal. Shake. Yeah, it's very cute. Shake. <laughs> this is what happens when you've been doing a lot of training lately. I'm done. Go find me. So I hit a reset. I got a bunch of other behaviors in there. No big deal. Let's see if I can bring this around this way. And the other thing is sometimes what you can do is you can literally go shake and then your dog just throws it out. Now at that point in time, her paw hit my wrist. Don't particularly love it. Yes. So I'm just gonna kind of look for that. If my hand comes up like this, yes. Does her paw smack it? So option A, you can start with your hand here and then roll it over, yes. And um, while, their paw, while their paw is in your hand, you can roll it and mark the moment. So the paw hits a hand, yes. Mark that moment. Paw hits the hand. Yes, mark that moment. Or a lot of times with a lot of dogs, you can just be like, I've just rewarded you 25 times for doing the shake. That's amazing. What if I just did this? Yes, good job. So that's one of the reasons I don't use this as a hand signal first day. This really is my high five cue. Um, I will use something else for a stay cue. Huh, good girl. Most of the time I don't use a physical cue first day, um, but for my deaf dog, I actually use the two fingers up for first day sign because that was very different than the high five cue. High five. High five. Yes. Very nice. High five. Yes. All done. Good job. Remember that you're going to have to drill before you get the skill. Not a big deal. If you find that you aren't getting really nice, consistent behavior, don't throw the verbal cue in yet. Just kind of work on getting the behavior and we'll add the verbal cue once you've got about four good ones in a row. Four out of five is my rule. Four out of five, move on to the next step, add that verbal cue, and then we're gonna make sure that our dogs are only throwing out paws on the verbal cues when they're not just doing it for people who walk around talking with their hands. Good job, baby girl.